So I'm not really sure what I'm going to talk about today. Um, I just thought, you know, I've got some spare time. Let's do a video. Um, perhaps I'll talk about how I monitor my nutrition. So <clears throat> years ago, when I started my health and fitness journey, um, I was heavily into Lane Norton um, about finding your balance um, with nutrition through my fitness pal. Now it's all the craze within you know mac it's you know monitoring your calories, your mac your calories, so your overall food intake for the day, and then monitoring your carbs, protein and fats. So you enter it all into my your food into my fitness pal and my fitness pal becomes like your diary essentially. So if if you went to your coach and they were like, write down what you eat for the day and then you wrote, I had bowl of cereal, a sandwich and meat and veg for dinner, that doesn't give you much information like what was the bowl of cereal? Was it wheat bix with full cream milk? What was the sandwich? Was it peanut butter and and um, butter on white bread. <clears throat> what my fitness pal does is, okay, you go, I had you weigh your food, and then you go, okay, I had 50 grams of wheat bix with 250 ml of Paul's milk, drizzle of honey with banana on it. So that gives you more specific. It's more specific rather than just saying a bowl of cereal. Okay, two difference, do two differences, and then what my fitness pal does is help you keep balance with your nutrition. So, for example, uh, if you feel like you're training hard, you're eating right, but you're not losing weight, a good way of looking at your nutrition is okay. One thousand two hundred calories is there. You're either putting on weight, you're either lo losing weight. So what happens is, let's just say you want to lose weight, right? 1,000 calories is what you've been eating. Okay, that's your baseline for your body. So how much food you've been eating every day, you calculate the calories and that's 1,000, okay? So my fitness pal does that for you. And I just have my phone here, that's why I'm touched there. <laughs> so <laughs> 1,000 calories, right? Stay with me, guys. It's a little bit of mess. I didn't finish my maths exam, so just stay with me. Thousand calories, right? You want to lose weight? So you go to a coach and they, they don't ask you anything about yourself. They don't know what you've been eating. They don't know how you're training. Nothing. They go to you, okay, here's a nutritional plan. It's 1,800 calories, right? So that's an increase of 800 calories right there. What do you think is going to happen to your body if you all of a sudden, every day, start eating 1,800 calories? You put on weight, okay? If your goal is to put on rapid muscle, rapid fat, that's fine. However, if you're wanting to lose weight and not put on so much fat straight away, um, you want to slowly increase those calories, but we're talking about fat loss. Fat loss. Okay, so this 1,000, my arms are sore, I, did, I trained arms this morning, I didn't realize how much that would hurt. Okay, 1,000 calories, you want to lose some weight. So, you, does that mean you start eating 1, 800 calories? You lose 4 kilos in 10 weeks or something, then what? You plateau, are you supposed to eat 600 calories? then you lose another two kilos. Are you meant to eat 400 calories a day? You've got to figure out where you can do it health in a healthy manner without restriction of that amount of calories. So what I would suggest to do is, if you're at 1,000 calories, slowly increase it to 1,200. You know, a couple of weeks, you, 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 you have to monitor your progress through your weight, through your macros, through your calories, through your, how your body's changing, your sleep, your supplements, everything. 
So you go up to 1,200. Your body's near not losing weight or putting on weights. So that's good. So you're up to 1,400 calories, okay? And then eventually over time, over maybe a six-month period or one-year period, you're now at a healthy 2,000 calories. You haven't put on weight, but you're probably, you know, building muscle. You probably have lost weight. You probably, uh, sorry, no. Your body composition, you probably come in more. You've got more muscle definition. Um, so, the, you know, that's what you want to get at because your body needs to eat food. Women, your body needs food. Stop the restriction. Stop the stupid fad diets like tummy detox and listening to insta models who are promoting a tea you know or going on jenny craig that doesn't fix your behavior it doesn't fix your habits you need to figure out how nutrition works so my fitness pal is a really good place to start because a lot of people don't even know what carbs protein and fats are it just helps you portion control and you don't have to do it forever but then once you figure out, okay, if, if I'm eating not enough, and then you get to a, a really nice maintenance calories of like 2,000, then you can go, okay, I want to lose weight, let's drop it to 1,800, 1,600, or something of the like. You know, I'm just giving you an idea. Because then you've got somewhere to move with your calories, okay? And then you do it safely over time, over a six month, one year period, because whatever you do, you must continue it to get where you want to be with your weight loss or your fat ma uh, muscle mass, okay? So that's how calories, tracking macros, calories work. You want to do it slowly and you want to figure out, and what MyFitnessPal does is it teaches you what is in each food. So you can actually scan your food in this app and then it will go, okay, this protein bar has... 20 grams of protein, three grams of fat, you know, and then you, you fit it into your map, your calories for the day. It's like Tetris. If I don't want to have oats, maybe I'll substitute rice for the end of the day. Um, this is just me explaining it, but you need to download that app and get an idea of um, what's in what foods. So my fitness power will probably, if you want to look at fat loss, it will probably put you on something, something stupid like 1,200 calories. Don't do that. Just track your net, uh, calories and see what you're, what you're eating. Just even if you don't want to download the app and you find that it's too much, just write it down. Write your food down and be honest with yourself. Be, take responsibility of what you're doing to your body with your nutrition. Are you not eating all day? Are you, you know, waiting until 4 p.m. and not eating and you're having five cups of coffee a day and then your only meal is like chicken and rice at the end of the day and you're wondering why you're not losing weight, you're wondering why your body's not changing. You must nourish your heart, mind, soul, body, everything. And you know, if you're if you're giving yourself optimal health, if you're looking after your body, and you you're you're then more vibrant, you're more happy. You're like, wow, I feel good, and then that also feeds your mindset. Okay, I've been looking after my body. I feel great. I look good. Yeah, and then your mindset comes into play. Other way around, you look after your mindset, then you start wanting to look after your body. They go hand in hand. So if you're going into nutrition going, I need to starve myself because I'm pathetic, I'm not good enough, no one's going to love me, and so you restrict, you're going to go into more of a cave, more of a hole, because you're not going to see your worth. You're, you're self-sabotaging yourself, you know? And I am really am speaking, like men and women both go through eating disorders and um, you know, there's bulimia, that just, um, anorexia, there's body dysmorphia, like uh, men and women go through this. And I'm really trying to target maybe younger women um, because I've been down that road and you got to, you know, health is so sub subjective. Yeah, you need your, your micronutrients and your, um, your vitamins and your minerals. They're very important, like your magnesium, your potassium, your salt, your zinc. Um, 
a lot of women that are on the pill, you know, they need vitamin B6. Like, you still need your vitamins. You still need to get a whole bunch of food into your diet. You need to look at that as well. But as a starting point, figuring out what is in each food. So if you go out for out and you get Macca's, say, you can, like, put Macca's in the MyFitnessPal app and then it will tell you how much calories in that particular piece of food and then you know you saturate your, your trans fat is probably like really high and, and it's just going to make you go okay is this optimal for me is this something that is going to give me the results that I'm after and then what you can do is you can write down in a diary how did you feel before during and after eating that food did it make you feel better like what was the craving what was the habit what was the behavior that started that craving then you rewarded yourself with that food and then how do you feel after? Sometimes like eating specific foods can be a vicious cycle and you'll just go around and around and around. So what you can actually do is change your habits and your behaviors. You can absolutely do that. Switch it with something else. It's if you go, okay, I feel like Macca's today. Hang on, maybe I'll make my own um, chips. Maybe I'll make my own burger. Uh, that's just a good place to start because if nothing changes, nothing changes. <laughs> so this is why I got into tracking um, macros with my fitness pal um, because it allows me to go, okay, if I'm going to go out to dinner with the girls and I want to enjoy a wine, I want to eat, you know, some ice cream for dessert, I'll go, okay, like, I'm so savvy with it now, I don't really need to use my fitness pal, but I still do because of my goals. I might, want to, I might want to do something in the future, I don't know yet. But, like, I monitor everything, and then I'm not getting a negative relationship with that food. I go, okay, I ate that much. What am I going to do the next day? Am I going to train legs, or am I going to train upper body? What, with that extra food that I've just eaten, do I want to go for a run? and try and beat my 6k record or do I want to try and grow my shoulders with that extra food in my, in my system um, or am I going to decrease the calories the next day because I'll have a rest day it's a good place to start especially if in the future you want to do bodybuilding um, my fitness pal is a really great way of understanding um, nutrient timing, you know, what carbs do to the body, what protein does to the body and what fats do because you don't want to restrict anything. You want to go into your health and fitness journey of going, what can I add into my diet? What haven't I had before? So something could be like as simple as water. You know, am I drinking enough water? Let's add that in. Um, instead of saying, I'm going to eliminate chocolate, hang on, maybe I'll make my own and then add it in and then I'm making my own. I know what's in it. I know it's gonna nourish my body and I'll create a healthier recipe instead of buying like Cadbury block of chocolate and then eating the whole thing and then feeling sorry for yourself. And that's the vicious, vicious cycle that you're continually playing. So it's about ownership, taking responsibility because the only reason, the, the only, the, you have put yourself in the situation that you have put yourself in right now. So take responsibility and go Whoa, wow that hurts but let's move forward now so i hope that has helped you in some way um, as to what my fitness pal is how to monitor your nutrition a little bit get an idea of using the app and then if you have any questions let me know i'm happy to help out with how to use my fitness pal um, how i track um, the girls on Ames Elite is, it depends on their mindset. I ask, we have an hour consultation, I ask them a series of questions, and then we, we both, client and coach, come to an agreement of what's going to work for them. Sometimes we don't even monitor nutrition. It's more than that. Sometimes we need to monitor your sleep because some people work night shift. So, Take what you will from this. Um, if you're watching, hopefully you're watching it to understand how you want to live your life. Because we are bombarded with information now and now everyone's going, I don't know what to do. Just do your resource, research, because it's what, you, you know, you'll re, uh, do what you can with what's available now.
So do your, you know, you can only get to where you want to be if you actively make a change. So if you're watching this, then you're wanting to make a change. Um, I started off watching Lane Norton and now, you know, a lot of people are following his protocol of MyFitnessPal, uh, macro tracking. Um, you know, in regard that uh, macro tra 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 tracking um, calories and protein, carbs and fats is about body composition, so how your body is going to change on the inside. So, you know, you're putting on muscle and losing fat. So it has its place. Everything in life has its place, a yin and a yang. People, what I say, people might not um, agree with. It might be opinions. <laughs> I really don't mind what you think as long as you're actively trying to figure out what's going to work for you. My job or my outlook on life is I want to make you happy. I don't want to make you happy. I would love for you to live your life the way you want to on your terms and do what makes you you happy because then you're gonna love yourself okay love yourself from within and the opinions of others are just opinions it's not your reality it's they're not living your life but they're entitled to do what and say what they want because they're living from their experiences and they're responding from what they've experienced so don't ever take it personally people just want the best for everyone I really hope that's the case and allow everybody and I want to allow people to do what works for you. Love yourself, nourish your mind, body and soul. Have a good day guys, thank you for watching.